Hey, what's up? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Cult Juice channel. If you are a returning viewer, new viewers, welcome to where we talk all things pop culture. In today's video, I want to get into Lotto, okay? Now, I've been thinking about Lotto lately because she's been on my mind a lot lately when it comes to female rappers and music. I've been thinking to myself, you know, why isn't she, you know, as big as she is supposed to be? All right. Now, I'm saying this in the terms of, you know, it seems like Lotto, you know, she's around, but she's not really around. You know, she's in the conversation, but she isn't really in the conversation. Um, when she puts out music, it flops. When she puts out projects, it flops. Um, and it seems like she doesn't really have a like a, a, a spot in the industry. Like she's here, but she's not really here, if that makes any sense. Now, as of recently, there has been some noise about Lotto's new album coming out. It's called Sugar Honey Iced Tea, which I feel like the name is kind of corny. Like, the whole Ice Spice beef is so played out. Uh, so that's that. Um, you know, she has a new project coming out. Uh, her new single is out. But the thing about Lotto's career right now, it, it just feels like she doesn't really have a direction for her career. Um, it feels like she's just making out music just to put out anything. You know, it doesn't seem like she really is trying to, you know, be in a lane. She's just putting out anything and whatever sticks, sticks. Now, in no way am I saying Lotto is a bad rapper because some of you all may like her. You know, I'm not a fan of her music because I feel like it's just, it doesn't, like, who you, who is your target audience, you know? Uh, but I feel like her music is definitely for people who just like to turn her on casually, and that's that. So, yeah, she's dropping her new album, Sugar Honey Ice Tea, and it just seems like the rollout doesn't have much build up to it it's like you know her team didn't really sit back and think okay let me go ahead and you know put this out to you know boost the uh rollout it's like she announced this album the same month and it's like it just i don't know what's going on it's like you know her singles leading up to it it just gives like like it, what are you doing you know what i'm saying um she's only put out one single and that's big mama and big mama is cool it's cute but it's just not enough to like hold up an album rollout. Um, I feel like Lotto needs to go back to the drawing board and really start over when it comes to, you know, who is she talking to? Um, she makes music, but it's like, she doesn't stand out, if that makes any sense. So, you know, she's dropping a new album, new project, but we still don't know who Lotto is and she's on her second album. You see what I'm saying here? I feel like Lotto doesn't even really have a core fan base as well. Um, I feel like her core fan base is just casual listeners and if your core fan base is casual listeners you don't have a core core fan base like she doesn't have any diehard fans and the thing about it you you may be asking well why does that matter why does that why, you know why is that important well lotto has been nominated for grammys okay lotto has also you know had a number one on billboard you know she also has done songs with mariah carey you know she has like it's like you would think that she would be way further when it comes to her career but her like social status does not translate to her career at all you know, um, she's dropping a new album, like I just said, her most recent project, her most recent single, Big Mama, it failed to enter on Billboard. So your team has you dropping an album with no music on Billboard. It just doesn't make any sense. I feel like Lotto also needs to, um, you know, figure out her style. You know, Lotto does not have a unique style in this industry, which makes her not be able to, you know, build that core fan base and build that, you know, placement in her, in her artistry and in her career. She doesn't have a spot here. Just like she's just been like almost propped here. She just makes music and whatever sticks, sticks. And that's not always good because as an artist, you need to have a signature, um, you know, just style and brand. You know, Lotto's brand is very... It's just non-existent. She just is doing things. And that is so awful because like when you drop music and when you are, you know, making your projects, it's hard for you to come up with concepts for your art. So you just find yourself calling yourself a big mama and now that's what's going on. Now, no, that's not cute. Another reason why I feel like Lotto's um, career is not where it needs to be at is because I feel like Lotto's musical choices that she puts out is not bad, but it just it's just so like for now, like, you know, like every other artist is like, they just drop music just for now and just for, you know, a quick little like TikTok hit, you know? And I feel like Lotto, no shade, but she be giving me TikTok artist vibe now, you know? Um, it give TikTok music. And prior to, you know, TikTok, she was actually making, you know, decent raps, you know, like she actually was putting in that work. I feel like now she is just trying to just get hits. And that's not, that's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but I do think that she needs to, you know, go back to the drawing board and, you know, figure out, you know, what is her sound? Because, you know, Lotto doesn't have a sound, really. You know, many artists that you, we know who are popular and, you know, have a fan base or whatever, they have a certain sound to them. Maybe it may be repetitive, which is still a problem, but like, Lotto doesn't have a sound. And it's like, I feel bad for her because it's like she's in the topic, but she's not really in the topic. Like she's in the conversation, but like she's just kind of like a sore thumb hanging out like what you know what i'm saying now granted she has so much time to perfect 
you know, her artistry and, her, you know, her music. I'm not saying that her art is all bad. I'm not saying that she's a... No, I'm not saying that at all. This is not what this is for. This is just to discuss why does Lotto feel like she's not really where she should be at, you know? It's like she's awkwardly placed here. Um, I don't think that she's bad. I think she needs to just spend more time focusing on, you know, cultivating her brand. Like, you cannot think of anything and think, oh my gosh, that's Lotto. Other than she to print panties. You see what I'm saying here? And I may get some hate for this, but I feel like low-key no shade. But Lotto is not being authentic in her music. Um, I feel like she puts on this fake accent and this fake ghetto girl, like, look and style. But really, when she, when, like, she's not like that, you know? So it's hard to build a core fan base if you're not being authentic all the time. And I think she likes to put on this, like, you know, Atlanta girl, you know, I'm real. Mm -hmm. And what was said? What? Oh my God, what? I'm big mama, what? Put on the flower, and it just it just sounds very forced, if you see what I'm saying here. So it's like it's hard for people to connect with you as a person if you're not being authentic and you're not being yourself. Um, you know, my thing is this: I feel like if Lotta was herself, she would find her real core fan base. You know, uh, I feel like she does not act like that. That's not her personality. Now we all have on alter egos, X, Y, and Z. Great, right? But it's, it's a difference between having an alter ego and being phony and fake. And she gives me inauthentic when it comes to her approach to her persona with the industry thing, okay? And another reason why I feel like Lotto also lacks identity is because she, t like she takes things that people say about her and makes it her identity, right? It's like, okay, Ice Spice calls you, you know, shit. Now you're going to make that your album and your whole era and your whole entire, like, that's not how that works, okay? You don't make albums off of somebody calling you shit and now you calling yourself Shit Honey IC. Like, it just gives, like, Ice Spice had to give you a brand. Ice Spice had to give you a persona. Ice Spice had to give you an uh, entire era to go after. You couldn't think about anything yourself. Um, also, when it comes to the cheetah print panties, like, that whole thing became, a, a like, her brand because people were bashing her for wearing them. It's like her concepts don't come from a place of genuine, like, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't come from a place of genuine, like, creativity. It's just like, okay, I'm going to look cute, twerk my butt, and then put out some songs and call myself Big Mama. If you want, hey, do that. That's fine. That's great. You know, if you make great music, cool. It's nice. But if you want to be remembered as, a, like, a rapper in this industry that, you know, has, like, some real stuff to say and spit, you have to really, like, put on a, a overall vibe and really push yourself to just be you know, different. I don't think Lotto is different. Like, she blends in a lot with the average female rapper. And like I, like I said, y'all, this is not a hate video. It's not a bash video. I'm just trying to, like, talk about where she stands at in her industry and where she's at in her career right now. It kind of just feels like she's just placed here. Like, it's not, a, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, when you think about certain rappers in the industry, they kind of have a, you know, a, a brand. Um, you know, Miss Red, she has a brand. She has a motive. You know, real fun, free, ghetto twerk, ah, tongue out, booty out, cool. Um, even Megan, twerk, ah, I'm a hot girl, da da da, da cool. Um, even when it comes to uh, Glorilla, you know, being on the block, having fun, Ice Spice being on the block, you know, we, like, you know, it's like that. But when it comes to Lotto, you're, like, you can't think about anything but what? what club bangers or like like it's like what what where did we place her now maybe she doesn't want to be placed in a box maybe this is her thing maybe she wants to be an artist that is unpredictable and you know doesn't have any you know what i'm saying but that gives you like a lack of personality and identity in this industry and to thrive in this industry and to build what you want you have to have some type of personality and brand around your name so yes um how do you feel about this let's talk do you all see where i'm coming from I would love to have this discussion down below in the comment section. I think this would be a great discussion to have a great dialogue with, um, you know, just talking about, you know, b brand building um, for these girls and, you know, how, you know, it's important. It's very important to have. All right. But yes, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Please tap the bell so you can get an alert every single time I post and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye. Be safe.